find the equivalent resistance with respect to terminals A and B. This problem is easy, but some students may find it challenging, so it's definitely well worth the video. You have three options, lock your answer in, and keep watching to see the solution. Some people may suggest that a delta to y transformation is the way to go, because we see this delta over here, for example. In truth, a delta to y transformation would be handy, but I like to keep it as a last resort in case there's just no other option. And in this circuit, there is actually an easier alternative. Notice that the legs of the 2 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors on the top are connected. Notice that their other leg is also connected because there's only a wire separating them, like this. This means that the 2 kilo ohm resistor is actually in parallel with the 1 kilo ohm resistor. The thing is, the same electrical configuration can be represented in a plethora of ways. We don't care about the geometric shape of the circuit. What matters is the electrical behavior. So you can draw two resistors being in parallel in a multitude of ways. They don't have to be geometrically parallel. So always keep that in mind. What you need to check is whether the legs are connected to the same nodes and this condition is satisfied, meaning that these two resistors are indeed in parallel. We have 1 times 2 over 1 plus 2, giving us 2 thirds. So, the parallel combination of those two resistors is 2 over 3 kilo ohms. Now, to combine resistors in parallel, what you need to do to the schematic is basically remove one of them entirely and replace the one that is left with this parallel value. I think it's a little bit easier to remove the 1 kilo ohm resistor from the diagram and replace the 2 kilo ohm resistor with 2 thirds. So basically, like this. You can remove the 2 kilo ohm resistor and replace the 1 kilo ohm resistor with 2 thirds, and you'll get exactly the same thing. Okay? Completely up to you. But now that we've done this parallel simplification, it's now very easy to see how to proceed. We have these two resistors clearly in series, so we'll add two thirds to two, which gives us eight thirds. And to combine two resistors in series, you simply lump them together, effectively replacing one of them with a wire, a short circuit, okay? So it's gonna look something like this, and you're gonna have eight thirds in place of the two resistors in series. And now we have two parallel resistors, and this is the easiest geometric representation possible for parallel resistors. So we have 8 thirds times 1 over 8 thirds plus 1, which gives us 8 thirds over 11 thirds, and that simplifies to 8 over 11, which is approximately 0 0.727 kilo ohms or 727 ohms. So the correct answer is A. Could you figure it out?